I'm just finishing up this weekend's edit, but before we get into the vlog, I want to talk about an announcement that Niantic just made. They revealed the first sort of event for Pokemon Go. It's going to be a Halloween event, and it's not really taking place in any specific location. It's just going to have some fun effects on the game. The event is going to last from October 26th through November 1st, so in a couple days it's going to start and it'll last through the first. The first part of this event is that you're going to earn more candy, and it makes sense because it's Halloween time, people are trick-or-treating, you're out grabbing extra candy. So catching, hatching, and transferring Pokemon is all going to be worth double its normal amount of candy. That means every Pokemon you catch is worth six candy, every Pokemon you transfer is worth two candy, and every Pokemon you hatch is going to be somewhere between 10 and 70 candies during this event. Walking with your buddy Pokemon is actually going to be worth four times the normal amount of candy. So for every one, three, or five kilometers that you walk with your buddy, you're going to be earning four candies. So this is a great opportunity if there's a Pokemon that you really want to get a lot of candies for. Make them your buddy, and starting on the 26th, you're going to be earning a ton of candy with that Pokemon. The other part of the event is increased spawn rates for so-called spooky Pokemon. So the Pokemon they've chosen are the ghost types, Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar, as well as Zubat and Golbat, and Drowsy and Hypno. Now, Drowsy and Hypno I know is super common for a lot of you, so that's probably going to be kind of annoying. Zubat I think is common for almost everyone. That's going to be annoying. Ghastly, though, I don't see very many Ghastlies here, so I'm pretty excited about that, since I did just evolve my Gengar with the worst Gengar moveset. I'd like to get one with the Ghost-type moveset, so this will be a nice opportunity to do that. So that's it. That's going to be the first sort of event that Niantic's announced, and it should be pretty cool. I think it's a really good way to get people out and walking more definitely by offering that bonus candy with your buddy Pokemon. I'll definitely be out more because there are quite a few Pokemon that I still need to earn some candies for. This is a perfect opportunity to get a lot of Grimer candies because Grimer is still super rare. I might also walk with a couple of rare Pokemon that I caught over the weekend that you'll see here in this vlog. So let's just get into that. Friday, Cassie and I just explored some nests nearby in Bellflower. And then Saturday, we went out to Long Beach near the Pike for the Walk for Alzheimer's that my family participates in every year because we have Alzheimer's on both sides of the family. On my dad's side, my grandmother has Alzheimer's. She's been in assisted living for 10 years now. She doesn't even speak anymore. She doesn't open her eyes. It's been years since she's remembered anyone. So it's really not much of a life for her, honestly, so we try to raise as much money as we can every year, and our team, my family's team, actually raised the most money out of all the teams participating in the walk this year. And then on my mother's side, we also have Alzheimer's, dementia. My Lola has dementia. She struggles to remember people's names. She asks the same questions over and over again. So, you know, this is something that's really close to me personally, so it's nice to support. And I'm actually going to put a link in the description if and if you guys feel like supporting, contributing to Alzheimer's research, the link's there in the description. So, here we go. Enjoy the weekend. nest to another. There are a couple nests out here in Bellflower that haven't been updated since the last migration. It seems like both of them were drowsy nests before this migration, so I'm interested to see what they've changed to. This is park number one, Carruthers Park, and if we're looking on the Silk Road, you can see it was definitely a drowsy nest before this most recent migration. Nothing's been reported since, so we're going to investigate. Hey, I found the bell sprout. Bell sprout. We've walked around this entire park and 
Bellsprout is the most interesting thing that's spawned so far. It's hot. So much for winter, right? You see it? Mm. It has okay IVs. Acid Sludge Bomb is a good poison type moveset. Oh, and Coughing found a candy. That means I'm at 48. So if we walk another six kilometers today, I can evolve Coughing. Dragonite Killer, come on. How's that working out for you? Check it out. Dragonite Killer. Shout out to Johnny. Here's my tip for everyone heading into winter. Pick up a Dragonite Killer. Compliments of Johnny at the pike. It's a pretty good idea. So. It's pretty good. Uh, I can't. I can't. I need allergy medicine. Let's get out of here. Going back to the Silk Road and actually reading the reports, which I failed to do before we came here, it says, you know, a lot of these people really only saw one drowsy. Saw one towards the center of the park and uh, caught one drowsy, but that was it. Someone caught three in 30 minutes near the parking lot, but it seems like this probably isn't the best nest, if it is a nest at all. Before we head home, there's one more nest here in Bellflower that I want to investigate, a Thompson Park, which again was reported as a drowsy nest, but that was before this most recent migration. And this one seems like it's actually a nest. Three within 30 minutes, five in 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and saw two. Three popped up right next to the playground. So we're gonna head there and see what this has become. Someone reported Pikachu. Uh, it seems like it was maybe Pikachu before that. But hopefully there's a little more activity there than there is here. Team Aim Thompson Park. What's going on here? We have a couple Pokestops, male swimmer, Thanks for the items, male swimmer. Butterfly swimmer. Thanks for the items, butterfly swimmer. It looks like that's it for Pokestops here at the park. Um, Vulpix is here. It would be cool if this was a Vulpix nest because despite how common a lot of fire types are here in Southern California, I actually don't see a lot of Vulpix. According to the Silf Road reports, it seems like the drowsies were spawning around the gym and around the playground. So we're just gonna follow this walking path through the park and see what we find. What's in there? Is that the pool? Let me know if you can see this. Is there a pool in there? <laughs> Is there a pool? Oh, there's a pool right here. It's an outside pool. Let me go in. It's so hot today. There's my friend, male swimmer. Oh, wait, there's butterfly swimmer too. What is this thing? Oh wait, it does it move. It does move. Oh. Okay. That was more fun than catching Pokemon at this park. Oh, oh my god, I think it's really fast here. Oh god. I don't do well with spinning, but here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> Gotta keep my center of gravity. Ah! <laughs> hey, get in this. We'll just walk down to that end of the park and back. And if we don't find anything interesting between here and there, then we'll call it. No. What? Oh, there's a Pikachu! There is a Pikachu. Yeah. That's something interesting. It's not the Staryu or Vulpix that have been on sightings, but it is something. Excellent. Oh, Vulpix! Yeah? 
Wait, did you catch the Pikachu already? Yeah. How are you so fast? Cassie says, Vulpix. It's, like on the right it's not side on of sidings. The, on the right side of the gym. Broken sidings. Wait, there's another Pikachu on sidings. Oh, what? Oh, is this a Pikachu desk? You know what? Someone reported it as Pikachu before oh, yeah, okay. Drowsy and then also during Drowsy. I'm not seeing the Vulpix though. Maybe it despawned. There. Let's appraise yep. it. That's a whole mix. Phones are hot, camera's hot, everything's hot. Um, I guess I shouldn't complain since some of you guys are heading into winter. I'm gonna do my best to keep enjoying this game in full summer mode for those of you who can't. Let's just walk to the end of the park. There's also, um, looks like ice cream down there. Yeah, I know. Star you. Here's Star you. That's. I don't know if that place is open. Oh. Yeah, it looks boarded. It looks a little boarded up. Okay. Oh, I didn't bring my wallet. I didn't bring my wallet either. Well, it looks like that's the end of our time here at, uh, what park are we at? T-Main? What's the name? Thompson Park, I don't know. Seems like maybe Pikachu spawns here regularly. It's not a nest, it doesn't migrate like normal nest migrations. It might have been a drowsy nest after uh, the previous migration. Ooh, eggs are hatching. These are just 2Ks though. Maybe I'll hatch a Pikachu though. No, that's not Pikachu. There is still Pikachu and Staryu on sightings. Both of them? So maybe it is Staryu nest post-migration. Pikachu nest or habitat all the time, and that's a Spearow. That's gonna be my guess, is that it's a Staryu nest right now, and that Pikachu always spawns here fairly regularly. It's so hot though, I don't know how much longer I can. I have to put the camera down in the shade because it just overheated, because it is really hot out here, but Here's another Staryu, so that's two since we've been here. I think my hunch was probably correct. Staryu is the migrating nest here. Pikachu is a regular spawn here. Let's see if there's more Staryu on sightings after this. No. Just that Paris that's right in front of me. Yeah, nothing on sightings. Is that right? Is there anything on your sightings? No. Nothing? This game's broken. Alright, I quit. We're going back to the car. Windows down. Number one, we've got Alt in the family. Last year, around the lighthouse, around there. So. Yeah. Last year we walked around the lighthouse, and I was really looking forward to doing that again because we're um, at a Machop nest now, and you know, there's crazy spawns out that way. But we just got rerouted, and now we're not going over there. We're getting ripped off. What? We're getting ripped off. <laughs> We're getting ripped off.
We're almost done with this 5K and my 5K eggs that were at 2.7 when we started are finally hatching. What do you think? Is it Porygon? I wish. I'm okay with that. I do want another vile plume. 60 candies. That looks like good IVs. Yep. That gets a star. And there should be, ooh, yeah. hmm, Voltorb oh, and Magnemite oh, right here. Yeah. Can't walk out of range. Yeah. Nidoran. That's okay, too. Should be getting close on that one. 79. All right. Oh, no. They despawned. Oh, no. We're at the very end. I can't, we can't stop. There's no one behind us. We're the last people in this walk right now. Probably because I keep stopping to get shots, but... Since the route didn't include the lighthouse, we're walking back over. Cassie, Chance, Sam and I, because we really want to get some more You'd Pokemon. That That's kind of, uh, I mean that being included in the route was one of the things we were all looking forward to the most. Yeah, what he So now said. while everyone's over there doing, I don't know what, <laughs> accepting their accolades for raising money or something, to some girl trying we're gonna to catch some Pokemon. We're gonna try to train this lighthouse up. I'm not. I don't know if we'll get through it before someone beats it down. But we do have three Team Instinct players right here. Yeah! And one uh, outcast <laughs> the back there. Cast. Jeremy, are you Team Mystic? Yeah. Okay, let's get this gym. No, I'm trying to take it down. Okay, me too. Sam found a teammate. Oh, yeah. I missed my dodge because of that. All right! <laughs> yes. What are you putting in? Okay, I put in Victory Bell. Yes. Yes. I'm I'm battling a gym that doesn't even belong to Team Instinct anymore. What? You All right. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> Everyone's having fun with this gym except me. I destroyed it! I got locked out with an error. There's only 825. I'm just gonna go look at stuff then. Oh, it's neutral. Who's getting it? Oh, yeah! Yeah! They got it? Yeah. You both got it. That gym session was a failure for me. And then Cassie got locked out too. But, but I beat it. <laughs> Chance managed to stay in. I got two thousand I lowered two thousand five hundred um speed. But we're going to eat now. Like stand into Pokemon in the Pokedex. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh my god! Okay. <gasps> we need to oh we need my to god. We're you already have one. Why are you excited? <laughs> We're supposed to be going to lunch right now with the family. We're meeting them, but... Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, so it's back that way. It disappeared. So it's that way? Okay. Yeah. Or could it be this way? Or could it be broken sightings? Yeah, let's go that way. We'll go around. We're a chance it showed up. Yeah. Right over there. Maybe it's by the convention center? Government buildings, right? Are there any government buildings around here? Let's go that way. Let's go towards the convention center. Should we go left or right? I think, I feel like Porygon is more likely by the big buildings okay. than the lagoon. All right. But if I'm wrong, it could cost us. We go on this side, you guys go on that side. Oh, should we split up? <laughs> oh, we could. Okay, you guys go okay. that way. Okay, yeah. yeah. We'll go this way and then like call us if it disappears or if you find it. Okay. 
That's a good idea. Team hunting. Hey team. Hi. What? What are here? Are they yelling? I don't know. Did they say it's there? I don't know. They look like they're catching something. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this might be Porygon. I'm gonna run for it. Is it? I don't know. They haven't told us to stop running yet. You're too slow. I can't wait for you. And now you're running. I'm gonna drop my charger again. There it is. Oh my gosh. Mine's 790. 790? Oh. I'm putting the lucky egg on. What's yours, Nick? Mine is 114. Mine is, oh, that was the same as mine. Mine is 114. Mine is 427, Nick. I'm not even gonna mess around though. Raspberry Ultra Ball. There's not many Pokemon left. Not many. Was that your first Got one it. Too? Yeah. Nice. First Porygon out here. I'm gonna Long keep Beach the Convention idea. Center. It's been so long since I've seen this new so Pokemon screen. It's in headbutt side beam. Alright. Sam it. already knows. Oh, yeah. it's bad. I knew <laughs> it. It's bad. But it's a Porygon. Yeah. We finally got it. What's left? How's my Pokedex looking? Well, Aerodactyl. I do need Aerodactyl. I can't wait to see what's that. that was a good plan to split up. Mm -hmm. Hello, Hello. 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 Yeah. Oh, kids' table. Kids table. We just got kids tabled. Nick, why couldn't we go to a place with a Pokestop at the restaurant? Uh, I don't think they were choosing based on that. Is there really? Yeah, look. There really is. My is way home. Um, Why is he finding it all these other <laughs> your Pokemon? Chance, what do we do? Chance is like, I don't know. Alright, Poke Chauffeur. Where are we going? Just drive around. Just, Just uh, drive around. Towards, towards Maybe tor the park. golf course. Golf Ooh, park. golf course or Apollo Park. This is a crazy day for Pokemon. All right, yeah, oh, yeah, go towards the golf course. It disappeared. It's off sightings? Yeah. And that's because it's, we're driving fast, right? No, but Chance still has sightings. Yeah, yeah it's back. Oh, uh, it's back on? Yeah. It's back? I still have no sightings. It's this way. Well, how are you going to know now? Is it just going to pop up, or you have to yeah, walk Yeah, there's no sightings. Well, it, nothing's going to happen above 30 miles an hour, oh. because they... It's, yeah, it's Don't even get me started on it. Oh, there it is! Where? It's right here! Oh, it's right here? Yeah! <laughs> stop, stop, stop that car! <laughs> What's the CP for you? Oh my god. Is it really? You're go right yeah, look! It's right here! What's yeah. the CP? It'll, it. it'll show up, it'll show up. Okay, I did it, I did it. What's the CP? Okay, wait, what's yours? Mine is 283. Mine is 1021. 1381. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. Oh. Porygon and Aerodactyl in one day? This is crazy. It is. It's so. Do we need to get Lapras then? Yeah, we no. need to get Lapras now. <laughs> Escaping. Please don't run. Mine Here ran the first time when I saw it. I got it. You got it? Nice. Oh no. It broke free. It has Bite Hyper Beam. Nice. I think that's its best offensive moveset. Oh, it broke free. Well. This is so like. I can use this for training. I missed. Can you hold my camera? Sure. No. Oh my god. Please stay. Don't run from me. It's good IVs too. Really? Yeah. It does? Yeah. Oh no. Oh my god. Please don't run. I feel like I should get out of the car. Like Niantic probably knows I'm sitting in the car and they don't want me to catch it. You gotta point this at me. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay, I got it. Okay, good. After I said that, they realized, oh no. He's on to us. Oh, I didn't have Lucky Egg on. Yeah. I was just saying. <laughs> we can really go home. Now. We can really yeah. go home. Bite Hyper Beam. Bite Hyper Beam Aerodactyl. 1381 CP. Mine is only 2 With above 80% IVs. Mine is only 283. It's a good day. Good day. That's what happens when you support Alzheimer's research. I do have one last question. What does the future of this channel look like? 
It seems tough to keep up these Pokemon Go videos for another couple hundred of them. And that's absolutely true. It does seem tough at this moment to make a couple hundred more videos about Pokemon Go.